a year ago it seemed like a good idea giving a 15 year old the keys to an airplane, but now that it's here, I have a little anxiety, but he'll be all right. <laughs> I know that there's not too many kids my age that get to take flying lessons and much less solo on their 16th birthday. So I'm super grateful that I'm able to do this. I'd say the idea of Ryan getting his pilot's license came of no surprise at all to us. No, even at a young age, he would love to go to air shows with his dad. Um, he loved everything about him. He would get in the planes and we would just take pictures and he met lots of pilots while he was there. And, you know, he has some pilots that really took him under their wings and they have um, really inspired him to become a pilot. Great mentors. Yeah, and it's been, been such a, a safe community of people around him that, that, that really have supported him and encouraged him. So when Ryan came to us and asked if he could get his pilot's license, I have to be honest, as a mother, I had a lot of fears and I had a lot of questions. But we're lucky enough to have Sports Academy in our backyard and they were great about answering all your questions, I think. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we were able to see the facility, see the equipment, meet the instructors and, and see the plan. So it was, it was the right place for Ryan to learn to fly. Hi, I'm Eric Radke and I'm the President and Chief Instructor of Sporties Academy based at the Claremont County Airport just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio. So our first order of business is to find out from Ryan uh, what his personal goals, you know, where he saw himself going in aviation. Uh, and from that, we can, you know, better look to connect an instructor on our staff with similar backgrounds, um, similar experiences. When you can start with a student and instructor with some familiar ground, that just makes the education process and that relationship process uh, that much more smooth. My name is Reagan Alley. I'm Ryan's flight instructor. Ryan's one of the younger students that I have and he's one of the first ones of my young students to get to the point where he can solo. Honestly, the hardest part so far has been waiting till he's 16 so that he can go up and fly. From day one, I knew that it was gonna be a somewhat easy ride. The second he got in the airplane, he kind of intuitively knew what to do. There's a lot that goes into the process and being able to work one-on-one -on -one with Reagan, I think was a huge help and making me feel comfortable behind the controls of the airplane. As an instructor, it's a gut feeling that you have and there's a certain point where you're doing the training, you're doing the landings over and over and over and when they can just hit those landings consistently and consistently be safe with it, then you know they're definitely ready to go up. kind of sunk in the magnitude, the, the surreal feeling that he was about ready to fly an airplane on his 16th birthday. Come solo day, I felt confident and a little anxious. My family, friends, and fellow pilots were all there to support me, which just helped bring me at ease so much more. Clear. So you guys like Mountain Dew? Don't see or hear anybody. Claremont Skyhawk 536 Sierra Papa's departing runway 22, Claremont. Make sure to get a crosswind correction in. Don't forget about that. Here we go. No different. All right, power, full power. Airspeed's alive. There's 55. No choice now with the land. That's the best feeling right there. Right there, from there to crosswind. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm flying by myself. 
Oh, it's smooth now. Claremont Skyhawk 536 here at Pompos turning cross 122. Claremont. Oh, we got a little high. It is so smooth compared to what it was. Relax. Claremont Skyhawk 536 here at Papa's turning base, runway 22, Claremont. That sun is brutal. Claremont Skyhawk 536 here at Papa's turning final, runway 22, Claremont. Good job, buddy. Let's go. Claremont Sky, 536 here, Papa is clear of 2 2. Claremont. Landing my first successful solo flight, taxiing in, and seeing my whole family there to greet me was a special moment. Even though I was the one in the pilot seat, it was a total group effort, and everyone there that evening was a huge part of it, and I can't thank them enough. I tell you what, I could not be more proud of Ryan. I don't know many teenagers at the age of 15 that have those goals to work that hard and accomplish them. I couldn't be more proud. So proud of him. One of the icing on the cake or the cherry on top for me was being able to give Ryan this, this replica version of my grandfather's B-24 Liberator bomber jacket. It was just a special moment. <laughs> It'd be so proud. Smile at you. Not for the boring part, my driver's license. <laughs>